Well, we have got a very special guest in the studio with us today. Nikki, thank you so much for coming along. You work in a capacity that helps so many people in our region, which thank you for that. That's amazing, which we'll dig into that in, in a second. Sure. Uh, the Tauranga Community Food Bank, such an important part of many people's lives. So uh, you work with an amazing team by the sounds of things. You filled us in of like uh, the, the team you work with. Really curious though as to... What's, what's the importance of the Tauranga Community Food Bank? Like, what is the why behind the place? Uh, the why behind it is definitely community. Mm -hmm. That's why. Um, 33 years ago, it was developed um, when a whole lot of churches got together and decided let's try and support the community together rather than all separately. Um, and so it's grown into the organisation it is today. So we're really the caretakers of the, the staff and volunteers right. um, who run it. We're, we're looking after the resources of the community for the community. So basically our food, our donations all come from local people, businesses, philanthropists. I got that word right. You, did, um, nailed, you, <laughs> nailed, you nailed it, yes. Um, and then we take care of it. So we're responsible for transparency, making sure we know who we're helping, why we're helping, um, and yeah, reporting on that and being accountable for those for those resources. Um, how we would look as a city without organisations like the Tauranga Food Bank is, would be very concerning. Okay. Yeah, when you look at the you know statistics and the numbers, the number of people that are needing that support, and those are like we spoke earlier, only the people that are asking for it. So mm. I'm sure there's lots of other people that aren't actually asking. Um, you know, that's really, really, really concerning. So thank goodness we're there to to give those people a hand, yeah. So people, it's a real tough environment that we live in right now, Gosh. and it seems to be getting, the struggle's real. The yep. struggle is real. So you essentially look after people that need uh, some kind of help in, in some kind of form with getting like like good nutritious food. Yep. Does that, does yeah. that sound right? Yeah, so we, we don't use the term food parcel because that has so many negative connotations out mm. there in the public. and. You know, it doesn't leave people feeling good, you know, asking for a food parcel. It's mm. not good. Um, so, you know, we know without a doubt that people that we're meeting and supporting would rather be at the supermarket with $50 in their pocket. Mm. There's no doubt. They'd rather be there than asking for this kind of support. It is a hard thing to do. Mm. Um, it's a scary thing to do. Um, so sort of what we look at in the first instance is how do we make that easy for people? How do we make it as comfortable as we can? Um, we can't change someone's overall situation, but we can definitely help with food. Mm. And then they're not hungry, or their whānau's not hungry. So the first step in that is making sure when people have received our support that they feel better than they did before. Mm. So that's about treating people equally, having utmost respect for whoever is asking for help. Well, you just don't know these days. It, no. could, t it could affect anyone, right? Because... Yeah. It's just so crazy right now. So yeah. You, yeah. you just don't know. Like, like you, yeah. you can't predict what someone's situation is. You can't look at someone and say, I bet they've been to the food bank today. Mm. You, there's just no way mm. um, you can sort of see that on somebody, you know. But we feel the angst and the shame that people feel asking for help. So we will do whatever we can to help people feel better. The next stage, you know, they've been to see us, they've collected the groceries, is we know when they get home and unpack that food that it is good food. Mm. We know there's enough food. We know what it is. We know that good meals can be created. You know, there's veg big focus on protein and vegetables. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's really our big drive, you know, along with the staple foods. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's really important to us yeah is how they feel and then you know on reflecting you know hopefully people and I know they reflect because we get messages from people mm. saying you know that was they're so grateful do you mm. think that people in our community know how uh, big a deal like how important this actually is and how much is actually used uh, probably not I think there's a lot of preconceived ideas on who uses a food bank Right, you know, and any opportunity to educate people on that mm. um, is 
you know, is really important. So we have school kids coming through, like the colleges and things like that, to learn. And we always always say to them, you know, what does someone look like that uses our service? Could be the boy sitting next to you in your class. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be anybody, your neighbour, your grandparent. Mm. You don't know. And you shouldn't need to know. No. It's a private thing. (laughs) 100%. Yeah. Privacy is so important. Um, So, yeah, there's no... There's no way of knowing. Yeah. Mm. And so I think we were, we were kind of chatting about this before in regards to your amazing team that you have there to mm. support this work of, you know, even just stepping in to the, uh, into the food bank can be quite uh, an experience for someone and, and making sure that their mana is all intact yep. when they come through into the space and they're being well looked after yep. is an important thing, isn't it? And, you know, it that mana to mana practice means that, you know, we are trying to... Um, have someone retain that within themselves actually gives back to us mm. in return. Mm. So our volunteers um, get that back from the people that they're helping. It's a real feeling. It's a real sense that you get. Mm. And I can hear our volunteers looking after people that have come in to collect their groceries. And honestly, my heart sings. It's a beautiful thing. It is because they are just treated, you know, s- such an equal. Mm. Yeah. And also, you know, there's that privacy where, Volunteers don't know why someone's needing help. It's all private. Yes. You're not your information is not shared. We don't need to know all the details about someone's no. situation. We just need to know enough to know that you need help and off we go. Cool. I love yeah. that. Mm. The other really awesome thing we were chatting about before we jumped in here is with uh, obviously helping people that uh, that need you know nutritious food but then also helping a community of people to learn and grow through the process of working within the yep. food bank itself as well tell us about that <laughs> well it's just a something I didn't know would be such a highlight in my work there so when I started working there 11 years ago it was all about helping people with food that's why I thought I was working there mm. um, which is what it's about but then I'd never understood how important the volunteers were so we couldn't open our doors without our volunteers. Um, so the passion they bring is, you know, a real highlight. And getting to work with people who don't have to be there is so refreshing. Yes. Um, and then along with that, we have such a diverse group of people at the food bank, which we're always keen to even expand on. Yes. Um, the more the merrier and the more different, the better. Um, and we have a lot of um, young people and adults with different special needs that are part of our team. Cool. Um, so we see so much growth and confidence and skills and that in turn feeds back to the volunteer, the other volunteers. It gives them a sense of importance as well. So it's a real win-win. This yeah. sounds like an awesome place to be, helping yep. so many different types of people. Yeah. It's more than just providing the food support for the community. Um, it is about a community experience. So, yeah. How long have you been doing this for? Well, the food bank's been around for 33 years. Wow. Yeah. So And so 1991. Yep, my maths is right. Um, and I've been there for 11 of those. Okay. Yeah. And I never thought I would be, but because there's constant change, we, we say at the food bank, the only thing that stays the same at food bank is the constant change mm. because we can just meet the community's needs. So, you know, if we see something happening in the community that needs, a, you know, to do with food, um, mm then we can change how we operate and adapt. And um, for example, we've now got a sign at the entrance of the food bank with welcome in 14 different languages. Mm. Um, now, 10 years ago, we, we weren't that diverse with the, the different people that we have in our city. Yes, It's changed so much. So we have need to adapt what kind of food we can offer people. True. So it needs to be useful. There's no point giving someone groceries that they don't know what to do with or culturally can't, can't use. Or if they've got allergies. I would have never have thought about that. No. Yeah. Um, people who don't have anywhere to cook. Mm. No point giving potatoes. You know, so those are all care that we take and making sure that whatever support we're given is appropriate. Mm. Um, yeah, we have a lot of the homeless we were talking about earlier, a lot of people in their cars mm. um, using gas cookers. So we make sure we're giving food that's not, not going to take a long time to cook. Still good food. Um, and we even have gas canisters that we can share. Wow. Yeah. This is big, eh? This yeah. is really big. This is uh, this is a big, big deal at the moment, and obviously it takes uh, 
a massive effort from all the volunteers, as, mm-hmm. as you were saying, and they do a fantastic job from yep. uh, from all accounts. Like, what kind of other support do you get? Are you, like, funded by the government or anything like that at all? And um, We're not, you know, funded by a central government, right. um, which I think is a good thing because yes. we're not reliant upon any political decisions right, yeah, um, true. or anything like that. Yeah. So we are just completely tauranga focus i love that i love that that's awesome <laughs> yeah um and we're supported by the community so um local businesses individuals families mm-hmm. anyone you can think of churches mm. they all give mm. generously okay um, both food and cash donations the cash donations go towards food so last year our grocery bill was two hundred and forty eight thousand dollars wow and that is from the community that is amazing. It's astonishing. That's huge. Yeah. And then our operational costs, which we all have, obviously, yes. which is you know our rent and wages for three staff, um, running our vans, um, things like that, we apply to funders, local funders. So we've got some really neat support out there mm. from, um, from philanthropists and the council. Mm-hmm. Um, help us out. What would you say over your 11 years of, of doing mm. this, what are some of the... Ho- what, what some of the awesome highlights that you've had? Oh my goodness! Like every day, <laughs> there's a highlight. Um, I really can, I can't pinpoint anything in particular, but I think definitely being able to make all the changes we needed to make. COVID was weirdly a highlight, okay, um, because we just kept rolling. Mm. You know, we had the people in the heart. To just keep on going where lots of other places needed to shut and i think once again that's because we're community based mm. you know um we can work out how to do things like that and then you know not have to wait for permission it's a yeah. really key thing isn't it yep yeah it is so yeah we can get things rolling really fast mm. yeah mm. okay so uh, I, I'm kind of wondering around the space of like, what's the initial step for someone, right? Because yep. uh, I'm sure there's lots of uh, people out there in different scenarios that um, might uh, ha- have, have had that thought that they need some kind of help, but just don't know how to step forward for that initial um, yeah. contact. It's a How's really, it? well, it's a hard thing to do, but mm. it is an easy, easy process. Right. Um so there is an organisation um, local to us called Here to Help You. Okay. Um, and they are online or an 0800 number. So if people can remember Here to Help You, you can just Google search that and you'll find your way through. Um, and it can all be done remotely. Okay, that's uh, yeah. good. So they, they do the majority of referrals to our service. But really we connect with just about everyone you can think of in the community. So schools, um, community centres, hospital departments, um, they know how to access our service. So mm-hmm. if you're already connected with someone, just ask. Mm-hmm. Or else, give us a call. Send mm-hmm. us an email. Um, go on our Facebook page. Yeah, Tauranga Community Food Bank. It is a really surprisingly easy way to access support. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. Or right, we'll yeah. drop some details yeah. in below, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And it's fast. Yeah. So it's easy and it's quick. I imagine with them um, with Christmas period coming up as well. Um, mm-hmm. How how do you find things? How do you you know do you get extra donations over this time or is it? Yeah, it's a busy time. It's a great time, but yeah, it's a busy time. It's sort of like you get to the end of December and you're like, Phew, we did it. So you know the need goes up. People needing more help. Um, school holidays, any school holidays, are a big deal because mm-hmm. the food and schools programs stop. And that is one of the things that's people, helping people barely keep their heads above water. Mm. And then when that is school holidays, there's no food, yeah. no extra food. So that's where we help happily. happily I literally help. didn't even think about that. Yeah. It's instant. True. It's one of the few things that's helping families keep, just keep going. Mm. Yeah. Um, so we we have that, which is all school holidays. Um and then we have our appeal, Christmas appeal, which the Bay of Plenty Times run for us. So we have a huge amount of donations and excitement. So we grow our volunteer base to greet people making donations to help sort that food, um, pack it all away, and that will get us through the first few months of the new year. 
those donations. So they really help. So it's a really exciting, chaotic time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we get in the last two weeks before Christmas, um, we are able to give our Christmas goodies. Um, families who have been working really hard with financial mentoring, which is budget services, mm. we actually um, offer a hamper. And this year, something really exciting is happening. The crossing here at the lakes yes. is um, running an appeal for us. And the stores, they're going to have 20 Christmas trees, fully decorated, and a $500 pack and save voucher to give to 20 families. How we cool is that? Yes. Yeah. So stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. It yeah. is. So um, aside from like donations and things, mm. are there any other ways which people can get involved? In Volunteering. Yeah, so once again, it's just getting in contact with us, yeah, and we'll let you know. Do you think that you'd let us come and help? Um, yes, Charlotte. <laughs> 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 and the kids. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, we would love to have you come and help. Yeah. Definitely. That'd be, cool. be interested. 100%. Oh, cool. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. I That's mean, cool. it's just, you know, like the, sometimes you can go uh, through life uh, with, being a little bit unaware, you know, if things in your own path are, are okay, yep. sometimes you can forget about like there's other people out there that you can actually just the small things yep. like matter so much, right? It's yep. like how you said with your staff of meeting mana to mana, like oh. having that right kind of like energy to help people yep. through that space is, is massive. And anything that like we can do to tr like be part of we that would stuff, love to yeah, it would be great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, we've actually just put an advertisement up today for extra volunteer helpers on Seek Volunteer. Cool. Um, so, yeah. We'll put a link in the description for that <laughs> if anyone wants to yeah, yeah. come along and volunteer yeah. with yeah. us for sure. Yeah. Um, so my f other little question I've got in here because, uh, you know, uh, obviously this area is, uh, there, there's a lot of uh, shape, size and colour and everything vibrancy into the space of the different types of people that live here. Yeah. There is an older generation here as well, mm. right? So what's the, the impact for, for them kind of in current state at the moment? It's tough. It's really tough. Um, national superannuation is not meeting the needs of most people um, if that is your sole source of income. So whether you're a homeowner or renting, because insurance and rates has gone up so much. Mm. So we have been lucky enough to partner with some other charities, um, not-for-profits, to do some support for people that are aged over 60 up five and reliant mm. on National Super for their income. Um, and it started with food. So it's around providing food support. Mm. Um, and then we're growing that into more of a, a social service, hopefully. We're raising, trying to raise the funds right now for that um, because they need it, you mm. know. It's it's tough for them and isolating and um, concerning and worrying and scary and, you know, to think that people are going hungry at this stage in their lives is terrible. Mm. Yeah. I think we've got a real opportunity now to come together as communities, not yep. just even the Tauranga community, but even wider of, like, it doesn't harm to, to help people, you know, mm. or just, like, just – Give in any kind of capacity, whether it's volunteering to help Correct. in something like that or giving some kind of food donation or if, you know, whatever it is. Eh? Like, I mean, I think we're in that kind of space now that that's like such a important thing yeah. to do if you are in that position to be able to, to, to yeah. give any of that, really. And like you say, it doesn't have to be anything big. No. Um, you know, we have a thing at Food Bank that we when we have someone new coming to join our team, a volunteer, we say, you know, that sense of equality, if someone's bringing us in a can of baked beans or someone's bringing us in a cheque for $5,000, both are equally important mm. because it's what they can do at that time and it's making a difference, mm. a direct difference to someone else. Yes. Um, so I think sometimes people feel like it's not enough, I can't do enough, just do what you can. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever capacity that makes your heart sing in the community. So, you know, for us, volunteering is really important. But if you're not interested in, in what we do, go and volunteer somewhere that makes your heart sing and that you're interested in because it all connects the community together. Mm. Yeah. I love it, Nikki. Uh, and it sounds like you're, well, I know, you're an amazing person there with an it's amazing not, team. Yeah. It's not about me. Yeah. <laughs> it's about, yeah, the whole community. Yeah. And, um, and I'm just privileged to have the opportunity to be involved. Yeah. 
um, and they've still allowed me to come back for 11 years. Yeah, well, you must be doing something <laughs> right if that's the case. I think that's just, I must have a really tight employment contract. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a privilege for us. That's how yes. we feel about it. Beautiful, mm. beautiful. And appreciate you guys wanting yeah. to learn about it. It's, Absolutely. It's, very cool. Yeah, well, it's a great story to share, and it's about helping people within the community, which is a positive thing. We've got yeah. to stay consistent with that and do what we can always do. So exactly. We just really love you, you've come into the studio to hang out with us, <laughs> and now we're really going to love coming to hang out with you Fantastic. in your spot. Yes. yes. So we've got to make that happen, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and if anyone else is feeling uh, inspired uh, or want to, you know, uh, yeah. uh, add their – uh, yeah, add their energy into this as well. We'll put some links in here that they can go and apply and have a look themselves. Yeah. And even if it's not right now, that doesn't totally. matter. Yeah. You know, a year from now, two years from now, you might have the opportunity yeah. to help. That's cool. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us, Nikki. We really appreciate oh, it's you. It's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>